an easy project. It's a great way to use up some scrap wood in your shop and practice some bent lamination. These make great gift projects and I have a feeling they would sell really well at a craft fair. I've done some bent wood projects in the past, but they always require planing the wood down really thin. I'm gonna to try to do this project all on the table saw. I think the best wood for bending is oak. It's really flexible. So I'm gonna use some oak scraps that I have along with some walnut and cherry. I'm gonna glue up two separate laminations. This one is walnut, cherry, and walnut, and this one is oak, walnut, and oak. Now that I've got both of these blanks glued up, I'm gonna trim a little bit off of the two end boards just because I think it's gonna be a little bit more visually appealing. And with the blank turned on its side, I'm cutting out as many thin strips as I can. I glued together these two pieces of plywood a long time ago for a project that I never ended up making. So I'm gonna use that for my bending form. I've cut a three quarter inch dowel that can stick in that hole. This dowel has purple paint on it. I wonder where that came from. Yeah, it looks pretty good. I looked through all of these pieces and this one appears to be the thinnest one. So I'm gonna cut this one a little bit shorter. I'm laying out some waxed paper to prevent the glue from sticking. My plan is to glue up two full-size strips and then the middle one will be the short one and then these two will go on there so that there should be a slot in the middle. I'm putting some packing tape on that strip that I cut off and I'm gonna need to use that as a spacer. Now when I've done this bent lamination before the one thing I've discovered is you got to be really careful that you get glue all over every little bit of it. Don't miss a spot or you run into trouble. And I wanna make sure that I don't get any glue on the wider piece next to this middle piece. And now the tricky part. I've also discovered that this last one is easiest to put in if I take the dowel out. And I'm gonna drop this spacer in there too. Glue up. <laughs> the top part looks pretty good. The underside, you can see where it didn't quite squeeze together. I'm gonna try to squish some wood glue in those cracks and if that doesn't hold it together I'll have to switch over to some epoxy. And time has passed. Now I can remove all of these clamps. Yeah, it looks like that did the trick. Yeah, I just need to sand it down. Now I'll cut off these jaggedy ends on my bandsaw. I'm gonna finish this with a few coats of spray lacquer. The second one is just a simple arc. I made it exactly the same as the first one, but this time with artsy camera angles. Really, the only hard part about this project was figuring out what to call it. So I asked all of my followers over on Keek for their suggestions. Some of my favorites were the Trendy Bendy Photo Stand from Mitch Man. Jonathan Barrow was the first one to call it a photo track. He called it a wavy photo track. Mark Price was the first one to call it frameless. He called it a frameless photo snake. Josh Mandel came up with the slotted photo stand, which I think makes the most sense. Truck Run came up with the idea that I think was 
closest to what I was looking for. He came up with the frameless picture frame. And as always, if you enjoyed this project, make sure you like it and subscribe to my YouTube channel where I have new woodworking videos every Friday. And also, if you haven't checked out my website in a while, make sure you head over there this Tuesday. I'm starting a new feature called the Inspiration Project. I think you'll like it. And I'll see you next week.